Let me be blunt. I hate making content about AI because the entire space is crowded as hell and there are much bigger, funnier and more charismatic creators doing a far better job arguing both sides of the same overhyped debate. Sure, AI might or might not take all our jobs, but one thing is for certain. Even if AI agents will end up being somewhat decent at programming, it'll take far more time than the experts are saying until they can actually make a real dent in the industry. And, during this time, I believe we'll actually create a real problem for the software world. While we are stuck in limbo and companies are either betting on AI with limited results or simply delaying new projects in hopes AI will become good enough to build better products faster and cheaper, we are entering a talent dead zone. Companies have stopped hiring juniors because they think AI will fill that gap soon and they've cut back on training because, well, why invest in humans if the machines are supposed to replace them? But, currently, AI is focused on creating new browsers, TikTok clones and revolutionizing the porn industry. So we are far away from an AI magic bullet that can actually make a real dent in the software world and, in the meantime, an entire generation of developers is being left behind. Juniors aren't getting hired, internships are drying up and mentorship is disappearing because everyone's too busy chasing AI metrics to teach actual people. But the demand for software developers is still there. And this is obvious with more and more companies and headlines trying to normalize 80 to 100 hour weeks. When the demand for software developers is still there, but you don't want the cost or commitment of training new employees, you end up squeezing every last drop out of the existing workforce. So, instead of investing in long-term talent, companies are burning out their seniors and mid-levels, forcing them to cover the gap left by missing juniors. It's cheaper and easier until your employees break down, they quit a job to go raise chickens, and there is no new generation of developers who can come in to take their place. Granted, the COVID era created an artificial boom in software hiring. We all remember the times when recruiters were basically begging you to apply to a job and big tech employees were posting day in the life videos where half their day was spent drinking oat milk lattes, meditating in pods and doing self-care walks across the campus. But, as they say, a miracle lasts only three days and that demand wasn't sustainable. When the market corrected, the layoffs came, but now, instead of rehiring strategically, leadership is postponing that decision in hopes all these AI promises will actually turn into something productive. And this is the real problem. Just like 9 developers can't deliver a baby in one month, you can't really pause human development the way you would pause your favorite monthly subscription. If everybody stops hiring juniors today, they are simply cutting off their own future on a bet that all this AI hype will actually turn out to be somewhat true. But every senior developer started as a junior and every architect, every CTO or 10x engineer began as someone who didn't know what the hell they were doing. If we break this cycle and the software demand stays the same, we'll run into a supply problem in a few years. Then, a lot of untrained, unprepared developers will suddenly be thrown into the market to fill a gap that should have never existed in the first place. Companies will panic higher, salaries will spike temporarily and the quality of software will drop even further. Sure, this is easy to justify in the short term. Juniors cost money. They need onboarding, mentoring, code reviews and actual patience. The mythical AI programmer, on the other hand, doesn't ask for a salary, a desk or parental leave. But it also doesn't really learn, it doesn't really question you and it doesn't grow into the kind of engineer who keeps your company alive 10 years from now. What's even more concerning is that if the AI learns, there is a high chance it'll learn using other AI-generated code, which means we're heading toward a feedback loop of synthetic mediocrity. And when the current seniors will retire, and trust me they will, there is no replacement pipeline. The irony is that juniors don't just exist to become seniors. They keep teams alive right now and they bring a lot of value to the table. They challenge old assumptions, they poke holes in outdated practices and, more importantly, they take some of the cognitive load from senior developers who are otherwise drowning in meetings, context switching or some other soul-sucking corporate activity. And the deeper issue is cultural. When juniors disappear, mentorship disappears with them. The instinct to teach fades, seniors stop explaining their thought process, documentation gets thinner and tribal knowledge concentrates into a handful of tired brains. Sure, this entire video is pointless if AI can actually deliver on all the promises. We all heard the super intelligence pitch where we'll get to a point where AI can actually learn and evolve on its own and it'll get magnitude smarter than us in a matter of seconds. But it feels like that vision has been 6 months away for the past 3 years. In the meantime, the pinnacle of AI performance in 2025 consists of a Sam Altman head singing from a toilet and turning ChatGPT into a porn site for verified adults. And this is where the industry's cognitive dissonance hits its peak. We talk about AI like it's the second coming of computing, but the numbers don't add up, 
there are almost no success stories, and the most impressive thing we've seen so far is a Jake Paul makeup tutorial. So if you are a junior developer, you are currently collateral damage in a hype cycle. However, I don't believe things will continue to stay like this for very long, and the best thing you can do is to be prepared for when the opportunity comes. If you like this video, you should check out some of these ones next. Please don't forget to click on all the buttons that YouTube is throwing at you these days, and until next time, thank you for watching.